Hi, my name's Kelty. And since I've been a little girl, I've been obsessed with looking into people's routines. Obviously, you've been around here, you know I love their fitness, nutrition routines. But not even just that, morning routines, evening routines, skincare routines, the whole shabam. Looking into those things that really make the most successful people in this world who they are. Because we're all just a compilation of our routines. Which you've probably been bombarded with non-stop on social media. Now that we're staying home, we need to establish a routine and a sense of normalcy. Even, even though the world is falling apart. I decided I'm just gonna mimic someone else's routine for a week. Is that trying to learn new things or is that hiding from the reality of the situation we're in? Jessica Alba. Why? Because she is thriving. Can we just take a moment to admire this woman? You've seen the body on this woman. Her skin, flawless. Oh, speaking of skin, she owns her own company. Oh, so she must not have kids and she has adorable kids that she finds the time to do TikToks with and has a husband. This is me, I'm barely holding on. Doing yes, she's doing all that. I'm like, how, how are you finding the hours in the day to do all of this? My challenge for myself is I'm gonna do it for a week and see how, 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 how. She likes to get a workout in before her kids get up. Six workouts a week, sometimes even seven. That's in her ideal world. She doesn't always get to that. At least 45 minutes every day. Her typical ones during the week are dance workouts, classes, small strength training routines. I've just noticed like five pound dumbbells, resistance bands. She loves morning classes, specifically yoga sculpts, dance, ask Pilates type workouts. And then once a week, like she likes to go a long hike in the morning. So today I'm gonna do a yoga sculpt one to start me off. Sculpt and turn every single muscle in your body. She likes to do resistance circuits, kind of flexibility and mobility. And I found a couple exercises she does on TikTok. So I'm going to do about 45 minutes of all the exercises I see her doing of that sort. Saturday morning, we're gonna go on a hike. I got up early, I'm gonna practice my social distancing. I'm gonna go down to the water, and because I live in Canada, I still need to wear my winter jacket in April. random scab I have from dry skin just fell off, so that's cool. Then she likes to start her day with a smoothie. One scoop of protein powder, two tablespoons of chia seeds. Be warned, they go everywhere, every single time. Then two tablespoons of almond butter. So you gotta scoop it off and lick it off with your hands. Lots of greens, lots of greens. Almond, milk, and then one third of a banana. She only has a third, she says, so it doesn't spike her blood sugar. So I cut up a third of a banana, start to slice it, and then realize why on earth am I slicing banana when I can just toss it into the blender. It just occurred to me that I filled this entire smoothie up without putting the blade in. <gasps> Done.
done. She also said that when she makes breakfast for her entire family, not just her, she makes pancakes and she specifically makes them really watery. She didn't say crepes, she said watery pancakes. That's what I made. After she finishes her breakfast, time with kids. In case you're new around here, uh, I don't have kids. I don't live with anyone. We're all quarantined. I can't see anyone. So I'm just gonna FaceTime loved ones. Oh! Oh! Time to take the kids to school and drive to work. Oh guys, the commute today. I'm so sorry I'm late. Work time. Food time. Her lunch is usually a salad with lots of vegetables, a homemade dressing, and some kind of protein. She works with a nutritionist named Kelly Levecu, I said that wrong, and her cornerstone behind most of her meals are the four healthy essentials, the protein, fat, fiber, and green. So she tries to make sure she has that at every meal. So I use a balsamic, olive oil, and usually she will have an avocado. I saw on a lot of her Instagram stories, but I'm allergic to avocado, so I replaced it with hummus, and this was actually scrumptious. I would have liked carbs, but uh, beggars can't be choosers, so I'm listening to other people. Yum. Something though I read, quote from her I'm gonna read. I really wanted in my life to have a job that I loved and that I'm excited about doing and participating in. Then she goes on to talk about how she struggles with balancing your career and motherhood. And I think that's also a reminder, and I, I'm saying this for myself, is even though everyone has it together, the most successful people don't have it fully together and you can still be really productive and really successful without being 100%. So I'm sure there's days for her, her fitness is on point, but maybe she isn't being like the 100% just devoted mother. Then there's other Day. she's the best mom and her work slides a little bit, little bit so I think it's not like a black or white that goes to show that she struggles with it too it's not like it easily she has this routine that probably helps her and it shows how she has time for everything in the day and makes time for herself but something I'm even trying to remind myself on is you can have a really productive successful joyful day without it meaning you are 100% in every category of your life Jessica Alba big coconut water gal for hydration talks a lot about how important water is for your skin and uh, if you haven't learned that by now you sleep under a rock drink water stay hydrated it's gonna help your skin here's a reminder if you're watching this you right there what was the last time you drank a glass of water you Melissa I see you how long has it been hmm Mm -hmm. Go get a sip of water. Mm -hmm. So we're having a, a midday snack. She usually has veggies and hummus. She's also a big guac and avocado toast person. Where's the avocado? I'm allergic. I know it's a really weird allergy. Come at me. What fitness YouTuber is allergic to avocado? Do you know how hard it is to get pre-made sushi? Y'all don't know the struggle. I'm just kidding, there's so much bigger struggles in the world. But that is the ultimate millennial problem. I just found it. Allergic to avocado and everyone's like, shut up. And you know what I'm telling myself, shut up. Such worse problems, Kelsey. Such worse problems. Do not complain. <laughs> Something me and Jessica have in common is our love of hot sauce. These are her three favorite, which perfectly I already had in my fridge because I own every kind of hot sauce because I love hot sauce. So I put this on all my food like she would. Today we have a roasted vegetable bowl. It's roasted broccoli, roasted cauliflower, chicken, tomatoes, carrots, all drizzled with olive oil, balsamic glaze. Her nutritionist has her dividing her plate up into four parts, her greens, fiber, protein, and healthy fats, and which makes complete sense and really how a plate should be divided if you wanna make sure you're getting all the nutrients. We need a lot of green vegetables, but then also you want complex carbs, which I think she means fiber, so less processed, more whole grain, so that would be your potatoes, your different kind of vegetables, your fruits. That's a topic we could go on for days, but for the most part, yeah, have protein, healthy fats, greens, and different kinds of carbs on your plate, and you got a solid plate. I saw a quote of which I really like that she said she never thinks about what she shouldn't eat, but what she should eat, and I think that's the best way to look at healthy food is not being like, oh, I can't have this, I can't have this, it's like, ooh, I should have protein, I should have my veggies, I should have my healthy fats, I should have my complex carbs and like thinking of it that way and being excited for those good things not being you know I can't hit this can't have this because as soon as you say that then that's all you want this 
is so cute. Turmoil that I constantly have being like, mm, do I test my allergy today? And they put a little happy face. I feel accepted by the, the vegan community despite my avocado allergy. She does enjoy to have a splurge meal. So today we're having a splurge meal, which is nachos, which are her favorite. She's not plant-based, but I just think she avoids soy and dairy. And so she usually gets like vegan nachos. Got this from Fresh, which is one of my favorite vegan restaurants here in Toronto. Mm. And I like that she said splurge meal, because if you're new around here, I don't believe in cheat meals. I'm not about that life. You can have treat naughty food in every day. It's just about getting a lot of nutrient dense food, but then there's like soul food, that food you just love, that you sit and enjoy. You need to enjoy life. As soon as you start to view stuff like this as guilty, that's when you go down the rabbit hole. But when you're just like, mmm, this is soul. Normally I would prefer to drink this with a Corona, with a loved one, but due to Corona, I'm eating this alone. Social distancing. Doggy. Oh. Mmm, mmm, I just taste so good. I taste so good. How is this plant based? I don't get it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Mm -hmm. mm. This is gonna be my first attempt at a TikTok dance ever. I, I just watched this. I'm not reviewing it and nothing. This is like literally first attempt ever. <laughs> My favorite thing is how much fun she seems to have at life. She's making TikToks, having fun. Like that is what I strive to do. Whatever the equivalent is of TikTok when I'm 40, I hope to still have that much enjoyment in my life. Also in this challenge, I've been making sure to just do something fun like this in the evening. And she does a lot of TikToks with her kids, which I don't have, so. The Big popcorn girl. I'm here for it. She says she's not a sweet person. She's salty. Um, I'm a little salty about that because it means no sweets for me. I like the salt, but sweet tooth girl right here. There's only two type of people in the world. People that eat popcorn like... Or... Oh, my mouth is really dry. Now originally for this video I was going to use all Honest products but uh, due to uh, shipping times it would have been way past the time I wanted to do this video so I'm going to do the same product she does but it's just not by her brand. She's obviously going to use her brand. Um. one of those face massagers, but so we just massage it. So after a week, first of all, I'm not a registered dietitian. This is just my own thoughts. I felt she has a really good view on food. Eats food that fuels her, it gives her energy, but she has no demonized foods. She still has treats every day. She has pancakes with her family. She has nachos. Personally, her portions were a little too small for me because I'm a bit more active than her naturally. So I had to have just bigger portions just to maintain my weight. In terms of workout, uh, she just shows that you don't have to have this like beyond strict workout routine. It's about, she just wanted to find movement every day in ways she enjoyed. And that's that's why she seems to have so much energy and vibrance to her even at her age. I feel she just always kept the food that fuels her, keeps her happy, workouts that get her moving but also keep her happy and that's probably why she has this like radiating energy even at her age. The biggest lesson I actually learned from this is actually kind of been just my journey in 2020 if you guys have been following me is just how she maintains self-care and time for her and I think skincare is a great metaphor for that. For me I spent many years feeling guilty even when I was single, even living alone of like taking time for just me and stuff that are indulgent. I don't believe self-care is just a face mask, resting all day, and sometimes you need to do those things. That's just like one small component about self-care. I do believe self-care is also having goals, creating a system like she has, a routine that gets you to those goals and holding yourself accountable. And like, if you make a promise to yourself, keeping it. And I think that's part of self-care, but within that routine and system, also having component to indulge and like rejuvenate yourself. And I'm trying to realize that will make me enjoy life more, but bring more 
more energy and life to the harder parts of my life so I can work out more, I can work more. I'm a better friend, girlfriend, daughter. When I take those moments for myself, she was able to meditate in the morning, have her workout time, in the evening, her skincare. For many years, I know going on a walk, clearing my head is so therapeutic to me, just listening to music or audiobook. And I used to feel guilty, like, no, you shouldn't do that, it's a waste of time. And now I'm realizing that makes me so much more productive than every other area of my life. From another one that I think is really beautiful is skincare. And I used to feel it was gluttonous to really spend the time in the evening and money towards it but over the last year especially I've put in a lot of time into me and I've just realized how it's helped my confidence I feel healthier and more radiant and so taking the time every evening to just do that self-care I think there's two components to self-care it the work, but it's also the rest and having them complement each other and they're not enemies, so they complement each other. Thank you for tuning in. Any other video requests, people like this, celebrities, athletes, just inspiring individuals you want me to try their workouts a diet, comment down below. Uh, I got some other exciting 30 day challenges coming up and hope you're staying safe and healthy and most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys, bye.